All right. Oh, my night. Uh, my string on my phone is not muted. And is the game going to show up? Hopefully it's going to show up. Were they always, always over here? On the left hand side? I don't know. I don't know if they were always over there. Alright, it looks like it is showing up. Oh yeah, so we have to go reverse the Forbidden Cavern uh, and meet the Elder Mist. Sure feels easier now. This time we make it through. Where's the monsters? What was over here? What is this? Can I like push this wall or something? Or is that like a slope? I can't tell what that is. Alright, so I can't interact with that, so I guess I gotta go in, in this room. to do the combat again. Apparently, I'm just terrible at blocking with steel. Anyways. Do I have to jump down there? 
What are these things? Oh. I can stand on them. Well, now I kind of want to know what would have happened if I didn't stand on it. And just jumped in that pit. down here. Alright, that's where we came from. That's not very helpful. chest. Found an adventurer's vest. Oh yeah, didn't we get some stuff? We got some tomato clubs. We got a cookie jar. Adventurer's vest. 30 adventurers agree, this vest is the best. I guess I can't equip it? I don't, I'm not sure how you equip armor. Can I even equip armor? Oh, here we go. Equip. So I put it on Zale, because apparently I'm terrible at walking with Zale. Yeah, we're just gonna put it on Zale. Do I have any rings? No. I have relics, though. Max HP plus 100% and auto heal after combat. Uh, I don't need that. Successfully timing hits and blocks causes a star flare to fly on the character for clear as day confirmation that the input was properly timed. Uh, I actually want that. I'll, I'll take that. So I guess we want to step on that thing. What's this like?
Hold on a minute. Alright, I'm back. Did we flip this lever already? What does that do? Oh, I guess it pushes this back. chest up there. But we need a key? It's locked. Maybe the key is in the chest just up there. It's out of reach for now. Let's look around. Oh, I can't. If it's at the chest, I can't get up there. Now I can get the chest. Forbidden cavern key. Uh, I didn't mean to do that, but that also works. Mushroom soup. What is that? Zell and Valerie learned combo skill mending light. Found one shiny pearl. I can heal myself. Solstice Strike and Mending Light. What does that do? Oh, it tells me. Restores HP to all allies. Okay. Check what the pearl did. Do I just sell it? Yep, just sell it. What is that? That doesn't look normal. Found one leeching form. What the heck is that? Normal attacks heal for 15% of the damage done. Well, who has more attack damage? I have 14. Probably Valerie. Yeah, she has 16, so I think she would want the thing that heals her. she has more attack damage. And also, do, she doesn't have any healing abilities. Unlike Zale.
I don't know how to block that. something? What did I pick up? Also, did I unmute my mic? Yeah, I did. What did I pick up? Lettuce. Crisp and refreshing. Doesn't Did it say I can eat it? No. Maybe there's like a crafting system or something? Or something to do with those items? is broken. We can't activate the bridge. There seems to be a detour through there, to the left. <laughs> no, Wiggly, you have it confused. This is Sea of Stars. Worth a shot. buy more tomato clubs somewhere else. Oh, of course. Of course I get a campfire that probably heals me to full. Let me guess. Yep, healed me to full. <laughs> I was like, what if I get a boss fight? No. They're not that rude to just give you a boss fight. Without first giving you a save point and a rest spot. Alright. What's going on up here? This feels very boss fighty. Like having a healing area and a save point? Hmm. And this big open room? Yeah. <laughs> Valerie? Sounds big, get ready. The heck is that thing? Lava was <laughs> the wrong game. <laughs> Although this game is very much like, um, gives me Chrono Trigger vibes. That was an attack? 
thought that was a animation. Stop that. So we're gonna heal Valerie. Alright, it just summoned stuff, that's fine. Can't I use that? I'm gonna use this. Does it matter who I select? That seems pretty nice for a early game spell I can do. Well, the combo, but. HP does this thing have? Finally got a combo with Zale. experience points. Our first big one. Haha, uh -huh, we did it. Looks like there's a way out over there. The mountain shouldn't be much further now. Alright, we're gonna go back and heal and save. say go in here?
Oh. They, apparently they didn't say go in here. But there's stuff in here. Gold. An adventurer's vest. Well, I think I already have an adventurer's vest, so we're gonna put an adventurer's vest on Valerie. Down this way. That's cool. Oh, we got a cutscene now. Four. Is his name. Things are starting to move. I am eager to see what th these two can do. Eager and impatient, too. For now we wait. Three, you know what to do. here, you can go to the Sun Glow Lake. The Mountain Trail or the Solstice Dragon. I don't know, let's go here first. Hey there, were you looking for anything in particular? Alright, well, I can buy stuff here. Buy lettuce here? And tomatoes? Can I, like, cook in this game? Oh, I can sell the pearl. Got a bunch of food that I can't eat, apparently. Squire sword and copper staff. I'm pretty sure that's what I already have. No, I have a training sword. And a training staff. Is it better? Gain plus four attack and plus two whatever that is. Uh, plus four attack and plus three whatever that is. All right. Well, I'm gonna save my gold for now, but. I do kind of want to buy those. Uh, this looks like the kind of fish we can catch here, but I don't know how to fish. Well, I can. I, I don't need a fishing rod, I can just fish. Okay. Fillet the Lunar Trout. Uh, sure. Does that count as me catching it now? 
Yeah, I caught a lunar crab. I don't know what the other one is, though. Can I catch the other one? No, I didn't want to. I see. I have to do it with the... in that glowing thing. I didn't even see that the first time. Like, how do I get past these things? catch the other ones. How do I get... How come I can't, like... What was that? How come I can throw it so far? And why can't I throw it shorter? Whatever. I guess the whole point is that you're supposed to not throw it shorter. It's bothering me I can't catch that fish now. Alright. Well, it looks like there's nothing else here, so... Can I sell, um, blade fish? It's not worth a lot, so probably not worth it. Wanna sell that for five gold? Sure. I'm probably not gonna be using it. Which way should we go? I feel like we should probably go here. But also, I feel like the story is going to prevent me from going this way. Like, what if I go this way first? Alright, we made it to the mountain trail. So far, so good. Eldermist lives somewhere here, huh? Oh yeah, this is the beginning of the game. I really hope we'll get a chance to return to Moon Cradle after this. What if we're sent out into the world right away? Yeah, I don't know. I just wish Garl was here. He could certainly use some celestial willow jam to go with this awful bread. Uh -huh, the dream. Huh? Celestial Willow Jam? I've got some right here, guys! I even picked some mushrooms! You won't believe this soup I'll make! Oh, and I found some herbs in the Forbidden Cavern. They'll do just right. Girl! 
What? You didn't really think I was going to let you go on an adventure without me, did you? Girl! Aha. Uh -huh. It's so good to see you two again. You look so strong now. Hey, why didn't you show up for our departure? <coughs> Excuse me. Are you kidding? There was absolutely no announcement. As soon as I heard everyone gathering, I went to our hideout to pack my stuff, but you left so fast. As I'm so pumped for this journey, I know all about survival now. Fishing, and gathering, and cooking, and... What's wrong? You can't actually come with us. We just wanted to say goodbye. We're on duty now, and it's pretty dangerous. You can't mean that. We've always talked about how we'd all leave together after your training. Plus, I spent all those years practicing in our little cave. I'm ready. Look, I may not have any special powers like you do, but I'm built strong and all I've been preparing. This here is my shield. I'll be a defensive fighter. No, oh, a warrior cook. Oh yeah? Sure am, and I've been reading a lot too. See, most of the monsters you're going to face won't even be fleshmancer minions, which means anyone can fight them. Are you sure about that? Totally. You haven't seen any yet, have you? No, but... I'll know when to step aside, don't worry. Plus, you can't really travel the world with just a few sandwiches. What were you thinking? That's... yeah. See, you need me. You just do your solstice warrior duties, and I'll keep your bellies full. Girl. Deal? Okay, deal. Oh, I'm so happy. No way! This is awesome! <laughs> Alright, I'll start the kettle. We have so much catching up to do. So much for my speculation. <laughs> Garl the warrior cook <laughs> joins the party. I don't know, I think this is a better outcome. And so apparently, after we meet this Elder Mist, we'll be able to use magic without using magic, and be sent out into the world. That's all we've been told. I guess finding our own way is the final step of training. The first assignment is to get to Wraith Island in time for the next eclipse. Wow, that's a lot. Your powers sound so cool, though. Can't wait to see them in action. So how about you, Carl? Oh, it was pretty uneventful, to be honest. All I did was train and learn skills I thought would come in handy. Every single day I was hoping to see you come out. I'm sure glad no one told me it would take ten years. Yeah, we missed you too. It's not fair that we were together and you had to do this on your own. Well, we're all together now, so it doesn't matter anymore. And I can't wait to explore the world. I want to taste everything. Hey, Sibley. Uh, sea of Stars is uh, like a RPG style game by uh, Sabotage Studio. They're the same people who made um, the Messenger. I'm not sure if you've seen me play like messenger randomizers a lot. So that's kind of why I'm, I'm playing this game. Because it just came out. Anyways. I can't wait to explore the world. I want to taste everything. It's very, it has a lot of story in this game. 
Uh, yeah, I don't play new releases often. <laughs> So, uh, this is a rare occurrence. Hey, this soup is unreal, by the way. Well, I mean, Messenger was kind of a new release. Uh, but, I mean, by the time I started playing it, it was probably pretty old. It was probably at least two years old. Maybe three? Anyways. Hey, this soup is unreal, by the way. Right? Uh-huh. So how much food did you pack? Just enough for a few meals. It's better to travel light, and there's ingredients everywhere if you know to look. So that's why I keep... Why I'm getting cabbage and fish fillets. And who knows what we'll find. It's all part of the adventure. Why don't you try now, Zale? See that bush right there? It's full of juicy berries. All you have to do is pick them. Perfect. Now we'll make some jam with the berries you picked. Just interact with the campfire and get ready to cook. Make one berry jam. Ooh. All right, I made a berry jam. See, you're a natural. We can eat that jam later when we need to heal up. Especially after I wasted those two sandwiches. Thanks for the tips, Carl. That's going to come in handy for sure. Don't mention it. Hey, I'm ready for some sleep. Same here. And nothing but the stars above us. I'm loving this life already. Girl, I'm really glad you're here. Uh-huh. I was just about to say that. Me too, guys. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Well, good night then. Good morning. You all ready to go? I'm excited to see what this Elder Mist looks like. I mean, I kind of want to check out that shrine I skipped over. But also... I don't really feel like going back. Should be straight up. Let's keep hiking. We get to control our characters now. Well, I'm assuming we're fully healed because we just were sitting at a campfire. Do we go in this cave or do we go up here? I don't know where to get. Ooh, there's loot up here. Basic armor. Alright, Garl can equip basic armor apparently. We'll give that to Zale because Zale doesn't have the healing. Oh no. What can Garl do?
Dang it. Terrible at blocking. Alright, let's see if we can get a better one of these. Feels like super powerful. <laughs> Alright, well, that was that. The fact that I had to fight enemies there makes me think I should go in this cave. Alright, I'm gonna go heal. <laughs> oh, cook. That's the first option instead. Does the time of day matter? Because that was like late evening. Am I like on the clock? Invisible clock. Like, I get that's for, like, positioning, like, combo attacks, but it just seems... seems odd. There's a chest up there. Displays non-boss enemies HP in combat. I mean, I guess I'll equip that. Might as well. I don't have anything better to equip. Drop this ladder. Ooh, there's stuff down here. Potatoes and green. Alright, this is where we were before. We already know what's over there.
Look at how nice this graphics are. What is that? Why is there a cutout here? I can jump off here. Tomatoes and peppers, it looks like. Ooh. That seems odd. How come I can phase into this wall? There's another lettuce or cabbage. Looks like cabbage to me. What is it actually called? It's called lettuce. Oh, that was scary. Can I actually like jump on those and like fall to my death? Hey, you get an extra attack in if you sneak up behind them. I didn't realize that. Nourish himself. Aha! I read that attack that time. Not a green. I automatically did that. You can jump to your death. I have successfully tested it. I don't know what happens if you do that on the other ones, though. It looks like I'm gonna... Oh, it looks like I can jump from here. But I can't. Talk to this guy. Hey there. Were you looking for anything in particular? Uh, you just sell the same stuff that I already bought from you. I can make an herb fillet, a basic salad, tomato club.
So we want to sneak up on these guys. That didn't work. I'm so terrible at that. to do when there's three enemies. Oh, I can see the HP now. Alright, well, we'll attack this guy. Got a tomato. Oh, we can jump in the water. Not sure why we can jump in the water, but we can. So we can go down there. That looks like where we have to go. Because... Looks like we have to get a ladder to go up there. Okay. Wait, what's that? Is that where we came from? No. Hidden area. I do love finding hidden areas. Take that. Just realized this is the the music note theme. Uh, what do I want the most? It's like magic attack doesn't really scale well with him. I care enough about HP. Her physic, her defense is like awful. I'm just gonna go all in on an attack. His defense isn't very good either. Maybe it's just because I put armor on Zail. That could be the reason why. Uh, I don't think we really want magic attack for him. I think we'll increase his magic defense.
I wanted to climb down, not jump off the cliff, but that works too. Something down there. Trying to hide this on me. A recipe for uh, a word I don't know how to say. that outside of battle, that's pretty nice. Take that! Oops. I didn't want to do that. That attack's so powerful that I, I can mess that up completely <laughs> and still, like, one-shot them. I feel like I missed something. Like, what is going on with all this stuff over here? Why is there this outcropping here? Ow, that really hurts.
Why can't we jump down here? What's the purpose of jumping down here? Like there's secrets down there. You don't want to jump down there, that's for sure. There's just a bird over there that we can't reach. Hmm. Wait a second. That's suspicious. It didn't do anything. I was expecting it to do some more. Alright, I'm done looking for secrets over here. Just comes back. There's no downside. Oh yeah, that's right. It'll, there's some. Uh, it's very weird the KO mechanic in this. It's like you get a number of stars, and then when the, all the stars go away, you wake back up. So it's not like permanent KO or anything like that. But I will, uh, once I collect this, I'll be right back. Alright. I was gone for a little bit. But I'm back now. Alright. We want to heal... Valerie, I guess. So we can go over that way, or we could just go this way. I'm not sure which way is the correct way to go. Well, might as well extend that. Why is the game saving when I go up to this? What could this be? Great insight. I guess I didn't miss much. What is down here, actually? Is there 
can go down, down, and then we can go... Alright, so that's just the way back. Children of the solstice have come for their rite of passage, but I also sense one who does not belong here. Is he brave or foolish? Who? Let's find out. It is an owl. Welcome, young adventurers, to this sacred pond. It's nice to meet you, Elder Mist. My name is Garl. My, what a gregarious one you are. Enthusiasm is certainly welcome in this place of meditation, but its rites are not meant for the common folk. Children of the Solstice, step forward. Who? Who, who, who? It seems you show great potential indeed. Have you weaved your will into celestial fabrics? We have, Elder Mist. Then come closer, and let them be imbued by the sacred pond's magic. I mean, we're already st standing in water. Ooh, a tremendous resonance. Wear them with purpose, for they will augment your innate magic. You shall henceforth have light in the darkest places, and protection against the minions of the flesh, Lancer. I don't feel any different. Yeah, me neither. Ooh, rest assured, the ability to use magic without using magic has taken root in you indeed. What does that even mean? How does it work? It arises from need. In the many battles that await you, victory will often demand the use of more offensive magic than one can sustain through spells alone. That is why attunement to live mana is paramount. Live mana? Ooh, it allows your attacks to draw from the magic bestowed upon you at birth. By judging by, and judging by the resonance you create, this power should even extend to your traveling companions. You are ready. Live mana will start manifesting for you the next time you enter battle. Are you ready for your final test? Elder Mist, I'd like to go with them. Ooh. I don't know if it is an owl. Now that I'm looking at the image, it just looks like this cloudy old man. The Elder Mist Trials have never been undertaken by anyone but aspiring Solstice Warriors. But I want to go with them, please! Interesting. You are the first of the common folk to ever make such a request. He sure is a peculiar one. No doubt limited when it comes to combat, but the warmth of his heart. Could he bring it back? Perhaps we should try to find out. I will allow it. Alright, thanks Elder Mist. Consider it a test of your ability to act as a companion to, the, to Solstice Warriors. I won't fail. We are ready. Then close your eyes and take a deep breath. Wow. 
where are we? Welcome to the Elder Mist Trials. To pass this final test, you must bring three big relics together by completing their associated challenges. The monsters that will try to stop you are immune to physical attacks, and the use of offensive spells is prohibited. What? How then? Ooh, that is why you must use magic without using magic. Five mana can boost your battle actions with a portion of your magic attack. Embrace this power and your training will be complete. Whoa, I have to try that. The trials await. Should you wish to return for a while, simply close your eyes and concentrate next to where you just appeared. Godspeed. Where do we want to go, left or right? I'm gonna go right. It didn't matter. Ding, ding, ding. Only Valerie can attack. That attack did nothing. Spell would probably do it, but we can't use them here. Guess that's the part where using magic without using magic comes in. But how? Hey, some little orbs appeared when I attacked. Maybe that's live mana? Could be, I felt I feel kind a kind of pull towards them. Yeah, I feel it too. Let me try something. It worked! How does it feel? Like power! So if I attack, it should do magic damage now. That was amazing! I want to try it next. Boosting has been unlocked. Regular attacks will now generate live mana. Hold right trigger and press A to absorb the charge and boost. Up to three boosting charges can be stacked, each adding a portion of your character's magic attack stat to their next action to increase its power. In case of regular attacks, the character's innate magic damage type, if they have one, is also added on top of their weapon's damage type. Whether you are dealing with an intricate lock pattern, need to make your next healing spell really count, or just want to deal more damage, remember to boost. I got a... a candy? A red berry. Roast Sandwich. Alright, got a roast sandwich. It looks like we have three paths we can go. So of course, we're going to take the left path. Why is there like a block here?
found a basic armor. is vast. He just has a cauldron lid. Zero damage, but I get instant to do that. done it with Valerie. Let's do it with Valerie. These things just drop a lot of berries, or it's his special power that he just gets more item drops. Because I've noticed whenever he kills, does the finishing blow, he, uh, he gets more items. What's the purpose of that? Obviously not the right way to get it. Huh? How do I get over there? Do we have to go back now? To get this artifact piece, you need to answer three questions correctly. Let's see how well you learned. Of these two actions, which regenerates MP? Hacking. What is the name of the school you went to? Zenith Academy. Trying to get me there. Solstice, whatever. Just because it has Solstice in the name.
Recipe for Mushroom Scramble. One very important Solstice Warrior duty is to destroy dwellers who become vulnerable during who become vulnerable during which natural phenomenon? An eclipse. So we didn't finish this one. What what did I miss with this one? Also, are we gonna have to fight everyone again? Nope. Doesn't look like it. So what are we missing? Like surely going up here had some importance. I feel like it's to get over there, but like, how? How do I jump over there? Unless I'm just like blind. Because this bridge isn't working. I didn't know it did that. Nope, they just drop a lot of berries. collecting floating things. Alright, so that involved puzzles and fighting. This involved trivia. What does this involve? Climbing. Lots and lots of climbing.
now. I kind of want to see what char charging it up did, but I'm assuming it just deals more damage, right? I don't know what that floating ball thing is, but... Also, we should heal. This is our last chance to repair. Do you feel ready? Well, I feel ready now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The young adventurers have finished the preparations. Huh? I see you understand the power of live men. But can you master it? We shall see. The use of spells is now allowed again. Face me, children of the solstice. Him or the sword? We're gonna attack the sword because it actually has HP.
He just healed. Kill Valerie or knocked her out rather. Alright, he's just gonna heal up.
<laughs> How formidable. Yeah, that was... Oof. That was a lot of damage. Ooh, a bright future awaits you indeed. Zale and Valerie, I name you Solstice Warriors. I knew it, you're the best. Huh, there it is. We did it. I have consulted the mists of time during your trials. When you are ready to leave this place, find me back at the Sacred Pond and I will tell you of your respective prophecies. Then you will be sent out into the world. Who? Don't take too long now. back over here. Good morning. The time has come to begin your journey. It's like the middle of the night. Morning, but it's the middle of the night. Ah, uh, yes, I suppose your friend should address that. Address what? Bring us the dawn! We can do that? Ooh, all it takes is you to stand on a celestial rune. And then what? Something inside of you knows already. Right this way. Now concentrate, and bring us the dawn. Hold, use right and left trigger while staying on celestial runes to change the time of day. How did you do that? That's the coolest thing I've ever seen! Hoo hoo hoo. That part is always easier by simply going for it. Now, in your travels, you will sometimes find mechanisms and seals powered by magical runes that react to the time of day. They were put into place by Solstice Warriors who came before you. Some conceal artifacts meant to help future members of the Order, such as yourselves, while others steal away evils that were too powerful to confront. Whether or not to look for these artifacts and challenges will be entirely up to you. Now your journey can begin. Come and meet me beyond this chasm. How do we get across? By using your powers, of course. Meet me on the other side, and as a farewell gift, I will share with you what I could read in the mists of time. Try using the crystal to charge the smaller rune on the ground above and see what happens. That's cool.
Is that a giant deer in in the mountain? Ever miss Island's Landing? What is this place? Who are you ready to be sent out into the world? Not really. I wanted to check out what the, was at that shrine. I wonder if I can do that. Can I do that quickly? Gonna keep bothering me otherwise. Oh, well, well. Dang it. Why do you have to have creep enemies down here? Ah, can't get me now. I like how the music's different at night. Damn, that attack is so hard to block. Disintegrated. There you go. That's actually gonna advance time, so we'll, we'll save in the second slot here, just in case. I really like the lighting on the in the dark.
Will this backtracking be helpful? Probably not. We can save here. It's locked. Well, it was not worth it. Unless those fish come out at night, then it's worth totally worth it. The answer is no. Not worth it. Alright, let's go back. How do I load save? Can I load my last save? I can set up camp. Didn't really want to set up camp. Uh, can we? Like, I don't know how to. Oh, we gotta pause the game. Do we want to sit through all that story again? Do we really want to climb back up? Not really. We're gonna return to title. Oh, yep, we got, we got Garl now in the opening screen. I wanted to load a different save. Can I actually do that? Did I just select the wrong save? Load game. There we go. What is manual? This is the last place I saved? No thank you. <laughs> I didn't realize I saved, like, here. Oh, I saved before that. Dang. Or after that. I guess we're gonna load this and have to climb back up. What's the problem? Alright, uh, how do we get back up? Is it up this bridge? Yeah.
Alright, we had our fun backtracking, but it was not worth it. Girl, what are you doing up there? That requires two of them. our way back.
Alright, I guess we're ready. Let us see you off then, but first, your prophecies. I will speak them to your minds directly, for they are yours and yours alone. They'll step forward. In order to reach your full potential, you will first need to stare at the night inside of you. Thank you, Elder Mist. Valerie, approach. When the time comes, you will be the one to create paths on water. Understood. Garl. I get one too? Awesome. You must be mindful of your limitations during this journey. You got it, Elder Mist. Garl, this is not a conversation. Oh, my bad. Carry on. The mists are unclear in your case, but it appears your heart might be warm enough to soothe a long, tormented soul. Okay, I'll do my best. You have now learned everything I could teach you. I am sending you to Sleeper Island, where you are fated to meet a crew bound for a adventure. Make friends with them, and they shall help you reach Wraith Island in time for the next eclipse. I mean, if we have the power to change the time, like, how come we can't just create an eclipse at will? To activate this giant, give it the name Extol to be sent to Sleeper Island. To return here, simply go to Extol and speak to speak this one's name, which is Extol Cool. Uh-oh. Well, I suppose we won't be seeing each other for a while. Hmm. <laughs> no hate! <laughs> well, we're back to the Archivist. And so it was that Zale and Valerie were sent off to begin their journey, and with their best friend, the warrior cook, in tow. In their quest to get to Wraith Island in time for the eclipse, they would soon come to grips with two very powerful wiz wizards. One by anger beset, the other of life bereft. No way, that was awesome! The Elder Mist wasn't kidding. What a ride. Who knew the world was so big? So what now? Find a boat, I suppose. To ground level, then? There's one... There's only one way we can go from here, anyway. Can jump in the water. Oh, this isn't water. No, I'm not missing that chest down there.
found 90 gold. Well, that looks like the right way to go. So what is in this cave? Solstice Mage Ring. Well, right now I have the Abacus on. What does this do? Party members recover 1 8 HP when they time a block. Could have jumped from there. Huh. So I can jump from there, or I can collect this weed over here. Is this the right way to go? There's a chest there. Rainbow conch. Is that good? I'd interest to collect. where we just were. Who's that? She just has a portal? Okay.
All right, that was fun. Let's see. Just gonna stop streaming. Thanks for watching. See you later.